All right, guys, in this video, which I want to keep very short and to the point, I'm going to list to you a couple of facts as to why you should be excited about the upcoming PlayStation Showcase, and more importantly, why I think it's okay to be excited and you should be excited about PlayStation in the coming months. So what I'm calling this is basically the perfect storm that's currently brewing at PlayStation right now. And looking at fact number one, Sony has more development studios than ever before. This to a lot of people is obvious, but some people might not be aware that PlayStation Studios has grown quite substantially over the past couple of years, and they now have more teams than ever before. This is obviously a good thing when it comes to you know, the next time Sony wants to have a big show. Fact number two, Sony has more games in development than ever before. Naturally, with having more studios than ever before, you're going to have more games in development, and we are definitely seeing that. We could go over an entire list of all the games that we know about based off of job listings, rumors, leaks, etc., but just know that there are more games in development at PlayStation from their first-party studios than ever before, and many of their teams actually have more than one game in development at their studio. Fact number three, minimal new first party reveals for over a year now. This is a very important fact that we want to pay attention to. Sony has been playing it very quiet. To a lot of people, they've been too quiet on the first party front with virtually no new first party game reveals or even teases. And, you know, we kind of have gotten to a point now where people are kind of begging for an update on Spider-Man 2, which was a game that was announced uh, in late 2021. So there's your third fact. Fact number four, this is the longest that Sony has ever went without holding a proper PlayStation showcase. It's approaching about a year and a half now, which is pretty insane to think about. The last time Sony had a showcase was in September of 2021. And even then, some people believe that Sony was very clearly holding back to a certain degree. So this bodes extremely well for whenever Sony wants to have another show, it's going to be something I think you're going to want to pay attention to. Fact number five, the PS5 shortage is officially over. This is a big reason why Sony felt encouraged to maybe hold back and play it safe over the past couple of years and, you know, maybe go really light with the first party announcements. Again, to basically them being almost non-existent. So the fact that the shortage is over, PS5s are now everywhere and anybody can get one. That's another thing that bodes very well uh, for the coming months of uh, PlayStation and announcements. Fact number six and the final fact, 2023 and 2024 are peak years for PS5 sales. This is important to pay attention to because this is where you're going to see Sony really you know, uh, step on the gas and really try to encourage people to go out there and buy a PS5 if they haven't already. Their job over the next couple of years is to get people as excited as they possibly can so that they can maximize the amount of sales they can get with the PS5. So there you have it, six facts as to why the perfect storm is brewing behind the scenes when it comes to PlayStation. And I think it's totally okay to get pretty excited about what's going to happen uh, over the course of the next, I'd say, probably uh, three to six months. We have some very good times ahead. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and hit the bell notification icon as well. But until next time, guys, take care.